Resort and Casino, and it includes an official Elvis Presley wedding chapel, the only official chapel outside of Graceland. And here to show us some of what you can see if you visit it is Kevin Kern. He's Graceland's Director of Communication. So there's an actual chapel there. there is. I mean, is it a working chapel or are they it just like... It is a working chapel. We've got a little bit of everything. A brand new exhibition, a uh, brand new chapel, as well as uh, a showroom that has Elvis-themed entertainment at the Westgate Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. And the chapel, Priscilla was the matron of honor in the very first wedding in the chapel last Thursday. So wow. very exciting. No Elvises will be performing the weddings. We're mm -hmm. going with the Southern feel, traditional mm -hmm. Southern wedding with a minister and uh, just a, a very nice feel to it. We want to keep it really authentic to the South. So you brought us these mime gloves. We did. So you know, we're in the we land of actually... Mickey. You've got to wear <laughs> Mickey's gloves to touch Elvis's things because we brought some of the King's Bling with right. us to Studio 11 What do we today. got? We actually have, uh, these are some of the uh, over 300 artifacts in the mm -hmm. 28,000 square foot exhibition. We have the King's Remote. So if he got... It's Studio okay to pick 11. It up, right? Yeah, you can pick it up. You've That's why I'm wearing the gloves. If Elvis wanted to change the channel on the television, he would have used this remote. This wow. actually came from uh, Graceland from his upstairs bedroom. We wanted to be able to show a piece Does of it, Graceland without work? detracting can from it. Can he click it? He can click it. See, oh. this is why they call them clickers, because they actually Elvis click. Elvis, no, no, don't click it too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy on the clicking. But we wanted to, uh, you know, <laughs> showcase a bit of the Graceland and the exhibit mm -hmm. without taking away from the visitor experience. We also pulled an item from the Jungle Room that you don't so traditionally cool. get to see that actually has Priscilla and Elvis's wedding picture um, kind of etched into the silver plate. Wow. You don't see it when you're on tour because you don't have that mm -hmm. vantage point. In Vegas, right. it's up close and personal. Right. We also brought the King's Fire Opal Ring for you to try on. Oh, uh, don't this mind is, if I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from. This the, is some ring, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, what? You know, Elvis. Elvis. He was the king of bling, and uh, <laughs> this is a. This is giant. Fire opal ring seen in the 1972 film Elvis on tour, won a Golden Globe, and Elvis was known for his flashy jewelry. And actually, uh, when he would wear the. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, oh, no. it's a little big for all my right, finger. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's let's put <laughs> it back. Okay. All right, you dropped Elvis's ring. It, it, it the, is still what, safe. It what would be the value of something like this? We consider everything priceless because <laughs> either these are the Presley family members' things. You're probably going to be the last news person we let try on things. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, it's a great, uh, great exhibition, uh, which also features this belt, which mm -hmm. nobody's going to touch. <laughs> that and belt we is so cool, it's fantastic. though. Yeah. Elvis received this belt for breaking all box office records in Las Vegas. You know, Elvis really set the stage for modern day entertainment in Las Vegas, where you set up residence and the, and the audience comes to you, mm -hmm. like share. Elton, Garth, etc. Elvis was the first to really to do that, and he broke all the box office records. But he did that in the 70s. He did it in the 70s. So Sorry. this belt looks small to me because it, it looks really narrow. Has this been taken in, or is this his size this when is he his wore size. it? This is his size. Wow. And received this in 1969, mm -hmm. and it actually features his name spelled out in diamonds. It also features stars and diamonds, rubies, and sapphires, and custom made for Elvis. He's actually wearing this in that iconic photograph of Elvis and Nixon in the Oval Office. Wow. Wow. You definitely do not want Lauren touching no. that. You no. can't go through the White House metal detector nowadays no, wearing that you thing. Can't. You're not going to let anyone right? A couple that of was... other artifacts we brought with us include Elvis's uh, junior year annual, his graduation tassel from 1953, Humes High School in Memphis. Who keeps their tassel from graduation? I did. Do you? Mm. Okay. Maybe it's a Southern thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. I grew up maybe in the my South. But you know, what, what's oh. great is the Presleys were sort of pack rats, mm -hmm. and that they kind of were the rags to riches story, mm -hmm. and they saved everything, and that's given us the great versatility and allowed us to do the exhibition in London while not taking away from the experience at Graceland in Memphis. Mm -hmm. Now this is Elvis yes, all the this, way. This is you Elvis. This is the jumpsuit. His... Yeah. It's the jumpsuit. If you go to Graceland, I just went there last summer, which is interesting, but it has a ton of his costumes that he had, and this. It's pretty iconic, I would say. It sure is. This is the Aloha from Hawaii uh, jumpsuit cape, and Elvis wore this in the 1973 television special. More people saw Elvis wearing this cape than man landing on the moon. And for wow. some fans, this was their first Elvis concert. Elvis never performed outside North America. He only did two dates outside the U.S. of A. He did two dates in Canada, and he has this global appeal. You can go anywhere in the world and say Elvis, and they know who you're talking about. And for many folks, Elvis was wearing this in their first concert, uh, first satellite televised concert, and then and lastly, we have a tan jacket Elvis wore in the movie Viva Las Vegas. We've got a lot of movie memorabilia. Elvis did 31 feature films along with two music documentaries and uh, wearing this tan jacket, playing a guitar, uh, one of his highest grossing films uh, in 19... 
uh, 69, I believe, uh, 63. Mm -hmm. And of course, a fantastic film featuring Las Vegas. And of course, this was kind of the beginning of the association of Elvis with Las Vegas. And now, Elvis is synonymous with both synonymous, Las Vegas sure. and Memphis. If and you don't see an Elvis when you go to Vegas, you didn't right. do it right. And right. now he's back in the building at the Westgate Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, where it all began in 1969 for him. There's the information right there. It's a permanent Elvis exhibit, and the official Elvis Presley Wedding Chapel are located, as he said, at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino. Kevin Kern.